Point weather team coverage continues now. When you hear the word snow, the next thing most people, especially kids, think of is snow day. But how exactly do school officials determine if they're going to cancel class? From the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News meteorologist TJ Los Santo is digging for the answers in Bristol. School superintendents make tough decisions all the time, and as we found out, deciding whether or not to cancel school due to weather is one of the toughest decisions that they have to make. To cancel school or not to cancel school, sometimes it's a very easy decision. Other times, superintendents struggle with the timing of an impending storm, and every storm is different. There are many factors that play into this. First and foremost, it's always the safety of the students. Melinda Thies is in her first year as superintendent of the Bristol Warren Regional School District. It's also our ability to be able to communicate effectively with parents so that they know and can plan forward for these events. Usually the decision making for Thies begins at 2 a.m. when she looks for road and sidewalk conditions. The superintendent um, communicates with the highway department in both of our, our departments in, in both of our towns, Warren and Bristol. We are in contact with the police department as well. The communication extends outside of the two towns to other superintendents in the East Bay, and there are discussions on the state level as well. We're in contact with the um, EMA. The forecast is the most important determining factor, but the final decision relies on one person. We're weighing in on, um, on a number of factors and experts out there that, you know, guide me in my decision making. And for school and business cancellations anytime, of course, you can go to our website, WPRI.com. With the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.